Hey everyone, this is GC Performance here, back with another video. Today we're gonna to be talking about the biggest way to improve power while also uh, reducing knee pain and knee swelling while on the rides. Um, this is what I've learned over the course of working on a bike shop, going through fit courses with Specialized, and also just uh, doing a bunch of fits on other consumers. And this also has worked for me as well in the past. So I uh, just kinda of wanna show off what I've learned and uh, I hope you guys enjoy. So to start off with, the biggest thing that I can actually recommend that you guys do is to go see, uh, get some custom insoles for your shoes. They don't have to be specialized. Uh, they can be custom orthotics through a foot doctor, through other brands, uh, whoever you wanna use, it doesn't matter. But the biggest thing I can really say is that uh, what happens is when you're putting on power and you're pressing, you're pressing, you're pressing, what can happen is if you have a high arch, even a moderate arch, or even any kind of arch, uh, what will happen is that your foot will actually collapse in on itself. And so what it's doing when you're doing that, your foot will kind of roll and sacrifice that power. So in essence, you're not putting down power directly down here and it's not taking off forward. You're putting on power, your foot's then collapsing, going inwards, and then causing the power to kind of disperse that way and not take off directly straight. And in terms, you, what you'll get out of that is that you actually get a couple bit of a, a valgus knee or a knock knee. And uh, I'll show you later on in paint document if you guys want to know. Uh, on this, this is actually a new um, insole from the S-Works Airy shoe. And I'm actually very surprised about how stiff this is custom. Because I was going to dog on the S-Works 7 insole, which I have right here, that it is very flimsy. You would think on a $400 shoe or a $425 shoe that they would actually give you something with it. Nothing crazy on it. They do have the metatarsal button, but it's just a regular insole. A lot of flex to it. And the reason for that is because everyone is different. They have uh, different insoles you can put on there, like a mild, a moderate, or a high arch, and they recommend doing that. But uh, that this was always my biggest upgrade that I've done. And I, I have really high arches, so whenever I do pedal, my knees will kind of go in towards the top tube. So you go like kind of this direction, boom, boom. And you're kind of dispersing a lot of power instead of going straight down and getting support. So if you do have arch support, which you can see this is very flimsy, and you don't have any here, on um, these Aries are actually a lot, a lot more stiff so i think they're trying to reduce that on these shoes because they're like a, a sprinter shoe but they have a little bit more stability to them um, and so if you have arch support when you push on power there'll be something holding that arch up and allowing that also with specialized shoes they do have what's called a varus wedge inside here um, so when you look at it the shoe inside of the carbon shoe it's nothing you can really take out um it's it's embedded into it so instead of your foot being a flat foot, when you put your shoe on, it's just gonna be completely flat. What's gonna happen is it's going to be a little bit uh, cantered outwards and it'll be a more of a natural lie of the foot because they say that when you're hanging your foot, your pinky toe, if this makes more sense like this, your pinky toe kind of hangs down lower and your big toe kind of hangs up higher. So they already wanna to accommodate to that and make it more of a natural ride. So if your foot kind of accommodates that or more naturally, what would happen is that if you have a flat foot, you'd already kind of be cantered in. So, but if you have, if you're one of the uh, individuals who has a, a big toe in, then they also give you wedges that you can kind of counteract and, and make the shoe uh, zero again. But uh, the, the, val the Vares wedge inside the shoe does help out, I feel, that you kind of get that accommodation to it. But the biggest thing I could definitely say is that the, the uh, arch support inside shoes like i said it doesn't have to be specialized i'm not even trying to say this but it's the thing i noticed the biggest right away um and i'll kind of pull it up this is what it looks like so with on specialized.com they have their custom footbeds like this they have a blue a green and a red let's see if i can do it like this boom i'm sorry for my non-editing self but they have a blue they're only 35 bucks you can go to a store they usually have inside the store a um some kind of of tool to be able to map out if you have high arches or not but i definitely recommend going check out because it was one of the biggest eye openers out of all my three courses that i did with specialized retool included uh, that helped me out the most so they have blue for moderate arches they have green for high arches which is what i use and they have red for flat foot so even if you have a flat foot they do have some kind of um help with that and what this is this is more plastic right here and it's going to actually accommodate that foot and give you more support there same with here this is just going to be a lot higher arch I will say that the first time putting these in my shoe and I stood on up, stood up on them, it felt like there's like almost like a rock or something stuck inside the shoe and it felt uncomfortable standing up. But that's not the case because when riding, you don't have that pressure on there. So it's not gonna be as bad while riding. Um, it's definitely something to get used to at first, but I'm telling you, it makes the biggest difference. And what I can mean is, let's do this. Let's go ahead and pop on paint. 
right quick. And I'll kind of give you guys a visualization. So here we have a, uh, that's not good, okay, I'll do this. Here we have a bike and crank. I'm, I'm, I'm uh, channeling my inner habini. I'm doing this through a camera, so it's kind of hard. Crank, <laughs> so when you're pedaling, you're pedaling up and down. You know, like this, boom, 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 boom. Uh, what happens is if you don't have any arch support and your arch is collapsing in on itself, what would happen is the power kind of go boom and in, oh, oops, in, out, in, out, in, out. Not so heavy like that, but you get the gist very slightly. And you'll always notice this during a fit or maybe you're riding behind someone, but you're always kind of see their knees cantering in or bowing in towards the top tube. Um, you might think this is normal, but this can be corrected and you are losing some power. So when you're pedaling, you want that, that hip to line up with the knee to the ankle as much as you can. And you want that knee to be driven right over that first, that, that metatarsal, you know, like the, the ball of your foot. So the idea behind it is, is that you want to be lined up as much as you can. If you don't have any arch support, your foot is going to roll in towards the bike. And then your, your pedal stroke or angle will go in, out, in, out. So that's the biggest thing I can actually recommend uh, doing. It helped me out a lot. I do have very high arches and I was blown away by it when it first happened. So uh, definitely would recommend getting into something like that. I think that they did a great job with these. And like I said, I'm not trying to just only recommend Specialized or, or whatever. I do sell Specialized, yes. But full disclosure, it was the biggest eye opener or eye changer to me. The S-Work 7 insoles, like I said, kind of flimsy. Any kind of insole, even if you have flat feet, you go to something like this, and, and I always notice it too, the shoes kind of do feel airy when you first get them. Uh, they feel kind of big, you know, you, you ha yes, you have the bows, you tighten down, but uh, the insoles do take up a little bit more space, which will then encounter, make it feel like you're more supported. When you're putting down power, it's gonna help out. So it was one of the biggest things that I ever, that I ever done, and the high arches helped me out a lot. And if you ever ride behind someone, or even the pros you'll see back in the day, their knees just kind of track in towards the top tube. Um, this is gonna help correct that. The Aries, very surprised that the, the insole is so much stiffer, but I like to see that they're kind of striving towards giving you something nice like that. So let me know if you guys found this uh, helpful. It definitely helped me out a lot. Um, again, sorry for this poor, uh, poor, poor, poor presentation of it. I don't have an editor, I'm not smart. I like playing computer games, that's why I have all this stuff here, but that's about it. But I hope this enjoy uh, helps you out. All you have to do is go into a bike store, they have a heat pad where you just kind of rest your feet on there. Don't stand on the heat pad if they have you stand on it. You just want to kind of rest your feet on there. So sitting down, and it'll tell you if you have high arches or not. So when you're sitting there, kind of just put your kind of just put your feet like this, and then release your feet up. You don't want to stand on because what will happen again, your arch will collapse in on itself, and that'll take that away. Um, but insoles, I definitely recommend it. Even if you have really bad feet, maybe go look at some custom orthotics. But insoles and foot support is the biggest thing I can recommend for uh, for cycling. It helps out the most and you start the foot and that's going to work all the way back up to the hips and everything like that. So like I said, hopefully you guys can uh, find this um, informational and uh, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you guys. Bye.